There are two types of slingshot or reverse bungee rides, ones that use elastic bands and ones that use cables and spring boxes. The newer models using cables and spring boxes have proven to be relatively safe rides, with only a few minor accidents to report since their introduction over 20 years ago. The same cannot be said for slingshot rides that use elastic bands. These rides have been around for nearly 45 years and have had a significant number of incidents, accidents, and even deaths. To learn more about the differences between these two types of rides, check out this video. Today's video will attempt to provide a comprehensive list of all of these accidents, but know that likely several accidents will be missed due to their age or obscurity. This list is in no particular order. On July 9, 2015, Catapult, a Gravity Works slingshot at Mount Olympus Theme and Water Park in Wisconsin Dells was operating normally. The ride was tightening its elastic bands for launch. These rides work by having winches located in each of the towers to tighten steel cables that are connected to elastic bands which are in turn connected to the rider capsule. As the bands reached their maximum tension, the two bands on the right side of the ride snapped and came flying to the ground, narrowly missing the riders on the ride and the operators nearby. Had the elastic bands snapped a few moments later, the rider capsule would have likely already been launched, leading to more serious injuries for the riders. The remaining bands had their tension released, and the riders walked away unharmed. The ride was removed from the park. This was not the only accident to occur on this ride. On August 13, 2013, the same slingshot at Mount Olympus was operating normally. The ride launched with two riders. As it was ascending, one of the four elastic bands on the ride snapped, hitting the riders in the rider capsule, causing minor injuries. The remaining three elastic bands remained in place and the riders were lowered to the ground before being treated by Park First Aid. On July 17, 2017, a traveling slingshot likely made by Technical Park at San Benedito del Tonto Carnival in Italy was operating normally. The ride's elastic bands were tensioned and the rider capsule launched. As the rider capsule ascended into the air, a female rider was ejected from the restraints and fell roughly 20 meters or 65 feet to the ground. She was killed by the impact. The final cause of the accident was never revealed, though it is known that many elastic slingshots feature restraint locking mechanisms that use a simple spring-loaded lever inserted into a pipe to secure their restraints, much like a lot of gym equipment. Most slingshots with this design now have a secondary five-point harness for the riders, but not all. With the obscurity of this accident, we don't know for sure what caused it. This slingshot also saw another death in 2010 when a rider died from a heart attack while on the ride. On Wednesday, December 14, 2022, at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, a showman-owned and manufactured elastic slingshot was operating normally. Around 8.20 p.m., the ride was loaded with two riders and it began to tension its bands for launch. The winch on the right side of the ride tensioned as normal, but the winch on the left side did not seem to tension the elastic bands at all due to a mechanical issue. This caused the rider capsule to slip off the electromagnet and fly into the right side tower. Most elastic slingshot accidents involve the elastic band snapping. That is not the case with this accident, despite some media reports. No one was injured in the accident and it's unknown what has happened to the ride since. On August 17, 2019, a Gravity Works slingshot at Cobra Adventure Park in Panama City, Florida was operating normally. It was loaded with two riders and was being tensioned for launch. As the operator began to pull the lever to release the rider capsule, one of the four elastic bands connected to the rider capsule snapped, sending parts of the band everywhere, with some landing on the riders. Thankfully, the other three bands remained secure and the ride was not launched. The two riders were removed from the ride and given a refund, walking away without injury. The ride still operates at the park today. This accident suggests that the Gravity Works version of this ride is generally safer than the other models, as it uses four elastic bands rather than two. On August 4th, 2015, a showman-created slingshot at Luna Park in France was operating normally. As the ride capsule loaded with two riders descended from its initial launch, the single bungee on the right side of the ride snapped. This caused the capsule to go flying into the left tower. The impact left one rider with a broken leg and the other rider uninjured. The park blamed the accident on a manufacturing defect. In the video, you can see what appears to be fraying on the right bungee prior to launch. Several unsubstantiated reports claim that operators were careless and were distracted by their cell phones when operating the ride. Some reports allege that operators failed to properly respond to the accident and were confused as to what to do. Probably the most dramatic elastic slingshot accident occurred on August 24, 1998, 
when a modified single rider Gravity Works slingshot was operating at the Central Canada Exhibition. The ride was loaded with its single rider. The elastic bands on the ride needed to be changed depending on the weight of the rider. To do this, the ride's owner had fitted a set of carabiners to the bands to allow for easy fastening and releasing. The correct band setting was used for the rider's weight, and the ride was launched. When the ride reached its peak, one of the cables on the rider capsule pushed against the carabiners, causing both of them to open. This set the rider capsule free, causing it to plummet into the ground, killing the rider. The ride's manufacturer, Gravity Works, was aware of the modification and considered it minor. It was also revealed that Gravity Works did not have a single qualified engineer working for them at the time of the accident. In April 2018, a technical park slingshot was operating normally at Fort Dutronne in France. The ride launched with two riders loaded. As the ride began to ascend, the secondary restraint mechanism secured by a simple pipe and spring-loaded rod assembly broke loose. The rider remained secured by the four-point harness under the restraint. After exiting the ride, the showman refused to sell the rider their video out of fear that this incident would impact their business. The rider contacted local authorities and they confiscated the video as evidence and closed the ride. In September 2016, a technical park slingshot operating at a fair in Hengelo in the Netherlands was tensioning its cables for launch. As the rider capsule and bands were being tensioned for launch, the elastic bands on the left side of the ride snapped, causing the capsule to fly into the right tower, in the process hitting two operators with an elastic band from the ride. All people involved escaped with minor injuries. The owner of the ride stated he was glad the issue happened when the bands were tensioning and not when they were at full power, as he believed that riders could have suffered broken bones if the elastic bands had been fully tensioned. The owner blamed a manufacturing defect for the anomaly, stating that the bands are rated for 300 launches, and this was the band's 261st launch, so an issue should not have occurred. The owner returned all other elastic bands he bought from their Austrian manufacturer and bought new ones from a different company. The ride still operates today. In September 2017, at a fair in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, an elastic slingshot made by Technical Park was operating normally. The ride used a four-point seatbelt-like harness as well as an over-the-shoulder restraint, secured using a simple pipe and spring-loaded rod. The ride was tensioned and launched into the air with two riders. On its ascent, one of the riders in a panic released the over-the-shoulder restraint and moved their feet off the bar on the inside of the capsule. This caused them to slip downwards and become suspended by their upper body inside the ride. The ride completed its normal cycle before being lowered to the ground. The woman was shaken up but uninjured. The ride owner stated that the ride is safe as it's not possible to escape the rider capsule's four-point harness without the assistance of an operator. The ride reopened later that day. Just 10 days after the previous accident, the same slingshot encountered another anomaly. The ride was cycling normally when the electromagnet on the ride suffered a partial failure. This sent the magnet used for holding down the rider capsule in the launch sequence flying into the air along with the capsule. The magnet then became detached from the rider capsule and fell to the ground, impacting the ride's platform and going straight through it. A ride operator reportedly tried placing a rubber mat over the hole and continuing operation. Guests in line alerted the authorities who closed the ride for inspection. The ride reopened a day later. On August 16, 2022, a technical park slingshot named Hotshot was operating at a fair in Bavaria, Germany. The ride's elastic bands were being tensioned for launch when the right band suddenly snapped with an operator standing under a meter away. The rider capsule stayed on the ground, but the rider suffered minor injuries due to fragments of the elastic band that hit them. The ride was closed for the remainder of the fair. The ride's owners blamed faulty elastic band construction. After this accident, all other elastic bands produced in the same batch as the failed band were removed from service. On September 26, 2021, in the city of Strakonice in the Czech Republic, an elastic slingshot probably made by Technical Park was operating normally. Two riders were loaded into the ride and it was tensioned for launch. As the rider capsule was about to launch, the elastic band on the right side of the ride snapped. The force of the snap caused the capsule to disconnect from the electromagnet and fly into the left tower. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured. The owner of the ride stated that the elastic bands were nearing the 200th launch of an expected 350 launch lifetime. Therefore, he believed there was an issue with the manufacturing of the elastic bands. And that is all the elastic slingshot accidents I could find enough information on to cover. As mentioned before, this is by no means a comprehensive list. Elastic slingshots are one of the most dangerous models of rides ever made. Regardless of how they're maintained or operated, these rides are a hazard. 
This is why most amusement parks in the United States have opted to install a newer slingshot design using springs and steel cables that has proven to be much safer. If you choose to ride an elastic slingshot ride, you are riding at your own risk. Unfortunately, in most parts of the world, ride accidents are only investigated by a government official if a serious injury or death occurs. Additionally, many countries, especially those outside of North America, do not publish ride accident reports when they are made. This makes finding details on these accidents extremely difficult. So if this video seemed less detailed than my typical what really happened videos, that is why. I wanted to thank the members of my community for helping to make this video as detailed as it was. You guys were able to find several accidents that I was previously unaware of that made it into this video. Finally, I wanted to thank all of you for helping this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. I never imagined when I started this channel over my summer break in 2017 that it would ever grow this large. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.